and ooh, precisely what I didn't want to happen. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Soap the Great, and I am back on the Too Crafty Vanilla Amplified server. How is everyone doing? I hope you're doing well, and by this point you might be wondering what in the world is going on with your view. What is that, Soap? And that is the Shaders mod. Yes, I'm running the Shaders mod, and I managed to get it running with Optifine. And more on that later, but I said in our last episode over at the Squid Farm starting area that this episode, since it is 50, would be a little bit of a special. And so we're going to be taking a pretty all-inclusive world tour. Yep, that's right, a world tour. So we're starting here at spawn because this is where the server started. So you can see kind of some of the updates that have happened and I will be talking a little bit about everything we're going to see but uh, it is going to be a whirlwind tour so we need to get going and not spend too much time in one spot all right so over here is an animal pen it says the two crafty cattle ranch and it's full of sheep yes sheep uh, I mean there's a few cattle but mostly sheep so I think Cattle Ranch might be a bit of a misnomer. But Airy built that pretty early on in the server. So we come over here. The next thing that is of interest is this little garden area. You can see we've got reeds on the outside. And then if we pop in here, got some two, two tall flowers, two high flowers there. And some wheat, pumpkins, carrots, melons, Nether wart and ooh, cactus, ouch, and potatoes. There we go. So, if you are new to the server, and in fact, we just had two new people come onto the server, so that's a nice little area to get started with. And so, the other, next thing to take a look at over here is a project board. And if we look around, we can see that, yeah, we've, we've gotten a zombie grinder. Uh, that's already done. You're, the the idea here was to set up different projects up top and then uh, to let people know who was working on them to kind of coordinate that. Nether Hub is done. Skelly Farm, we've got a few of those. Blaze Farm, nobody's taken that one yet. And then a public trading area. Anarchy has a trading area that we will see a little bit later, but nothing here in the spawn area so uh, we've done pretty well taking care of those projects so so yeah we're going to move on the next thing to take a look at in the immediate spawn area and this is especially for people that just joined the server is that we've got a little spawn bunker area now some servers have spawn towns we have more of a spawn bunker okay so you would just come in here and take a look at where most of the first night was spent for the people that helped open the server yeah they they stood around talking too long and then night fell and well they got ambushed by mobs and so they just dug into the wall here and got started so we've got the back of the chicken farm here got a little mushroom farm going here if we come back through here there's just some some storage and people's little cubby holes and if we drop down here you can see mine now I didn't help start the server I joined a little bit after they had started we can come in here I spent a little bit of time here just with some initial resources after finding a little uh, little hobbit hole elsewhere and we got still got some resources here I'm just gonna leave them we don't need that I do need to eat though and and so there we go. Um, a few people have, have holed in here, but for the most part, everybody has moved out to their own bases. And there is a little, little brewing area, brewing setup here. So you can see some of, the, some of the items here. I set that up because I've been the primary one with the potion supplies and with the witch farms. So it seems only fitting. Now, 
let's move on to okay so we got that covered we got this covered oh there's a chicken farm here too just come in grab some chicken easy peasy and come over here to uh, the nether hub we'll go through that in a little bit but for now let's take a look at a little tree farm that D put together it's pretty simple it's not a huge tree farm but we've got every type represented no every type no it's oak acacia uh, spruce birch and more spruce and dark oak so jungle could probably go here but we've got some jungle trees over over this way as well you can see them let's see if i can get the cheaty cheaty zoom here yeah there you go you can see it right there yep so we've got some jungle there and if we come over here we can see the iron farm and the iron farm puts all the iron over here we've been crafting it up into iron blocks you can see we've got plenty okay so uh, if you're new you don't have to worry about iron okay and then over here is an industrial furnace array you put your fuel in here and you put your smeltables in here you don't have to put fuel we're pretty well stocked up but hey if you feel like it you just chuck some coal in there or something and that helps things out so what we're going to do now is head back and I will say that I have tried recording this once before and I ended up with a bunch of drop frames so what I'm going to be doing is taking short little clips recording those and then going to the next thing and making sure that I didn't drop any frames or anything like that so uh, so yeah if it if it seems kind of disjointed well I am trying to make sure that I don't completely botch up the whole recording which is something that Yes, I've already done. Yes, so this is the second time I'm doing this world tour, but but hey, we need to show off what the other members of this server have been doing. So uh, next up, we're going to be heading into the nether hub, but I'm going to sleep first because we are going to be traveling into the rest of the world a little bit later, and I need to check on the recording. So I will be back in just a moment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and as the sun is rising, I did just pop into the spawn bunker and sleep away the night. We are going to go over here. Now, I did take a look at the previous recording, or right, we're getting ready to go through into the nether hub, okay? I took a look, and then I realized I forgot to tell you which shader pack I'm using. This is the CUDA shaders pack and it it looks pretty good i I've, I've usually been using Seuss or mr meeps and and yeah so this time we're using the shader the kuda shaders pack and i can put a link to that as well as the shaders mod in the description box below hopefully i remember to do that but right now we're in the nether hub and with the shaders mod on um it it looks rather dark okay so this is not the moody brightness setting this is actual shaders okay so while we're in the nether hub proper it's there's enough light sources that it's not going to be a problem but uh, as we move through the various nether tunnels I'm probably going to turn off the shaders mod or just not record at all okay so you can get an idea of what the Nether hub looks like here and Anarchy did this and did a wonderful job on it and what we're going to do now is we're going to go to D's base you can see the tunnel that she has set up here and how do you get that going is that normally a too high thing there yeah I wonder how she did that hmm hacks that's what I'm saying Hacks, but we're going to go through to D's portal area and go into her castle. Now, it's a slight problem. We should have attempted to look at this from the outside first, but let's take a look at the things here, and we'll we'll help get rid of some of the cakes. She has been pranked by cakes. Doom did that, I believe, if I've been keeping up with the the various pranking wars 
correctly. And so if we go over here, well, Doom and J, I think. Uh, cakes seem to be the thing to prank people with around here. But you can see back here, she's got a little dock area and then a gigantic cake, and Doom did that. And she was going to work on a mob farm. I don't know the state of that one. Maybe she'll get back to that. But yeah, there's, there's a, a little waterfall there. And then if we come around here, you can see she's got a too high... Maybe it's the shaders that are messing up the too high flowers. I don't know. Anyway, so she's got a flower farm there. And if we come down here, just make sure that we're not going to run into any baddies because she has had a mob farm even inside here. If you if you do happen to visit D's base and you're on the server here, um, just just be warned. Creepers like to hang out here. She's not lit up the, the place properly. Here's a little brewing setup area. And then if we drop down here, there's the the storage room. She's been working on that. Very, very nice. It used to be a bunch of just stone. And she's gone through and added some more some more decorative pieces. Very nice. Very nice. All right. So let's move on and see about looking at this thing. Ooh, that's a problem. Looking at this thing from the outside. Real quick. Drop down here. Now this was originally where I had noticed the clipping issue. In fact, the frames are starting to drop down. I need to just walk rather slowly. But yeah, we're we're getting down to around 40, 50 frames a second. I'm recording at 30, but I did notice some issues here um, when taking a look at these. But this is some redstone that she she put in for her pumpkin farm. We'll put that there. And the melons, those are a little bit more of a pain to, to harvest. And yeah, there we go. So she's got a little agricultural area and an auto smelting area that seems to have finished up doing what it was doing. And what we're going to do now, she's got a minecart elevator to go down to the bottom floor. But there's also a drop. And it's, okay, it's a slime block drop. Cool. If we go down here. Oh, wool farm. Nice. That's good to know, just in case I need anything. And we could come out here. And she originally set up in a dark oak a roofed forest. And we'll we'll come away from that a little bit. And then do the grand reveal. There we go. Now you get you get a much better idea of the scale of this thing. And she's not done. This is an amazing amount of work. She's done a great job on it. And so kudos to you, D. Keep up the good work. So, uh, yeah, there's a little, little decoration around her beacon. And there we go. So now what we're going to do is head back to spawn. I'm going to check this recording again and make sure we didn't drop any frames. And then we will go back. And I'll have to decide where we're going to go. I don't know where we're going to head just yet. But uh, once we get back to the nether hub, then I'll let you know. All right. See you in a bit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if this is going to be our overarching theme for this episode. But coming back to the sun rising after having slept again in the spawn bunker. All right. So we're going to go down this road here, have a little chat real quick, and then let's see. You can see uh, a base over there, and do I, I don't have, there's some supplies that I just failed to get when I was preparing for redoing the recording here. Hopefully, I don't run into any, uh, any creepers or anything. There is a, I think that's a zombie villager under there. But this right here is what is called the parkour base. This is by Airy, and it's, it's a little parkour um, challenge. Oh, and I, I did not sprint enough. But he set this up uh, quite some time ago. He is not actually, this is not his base. We're going to, to take a look at his base a little later. And uh, 
And yeah, so that's an interesting effect there. So we need to, oh, I missed it. Okay, anyway, but you get the idea. That's That's what you're supposed to do. And eventually you get up to that platform there, which it doesn't even, doesn't look like it's complete. But if you were to come along the road that you see peeking back out right there, you would eventually come to the commercial district. So that's where we're actually headed as well. So you get to see the parkour base and then the commercial district. And this is really the best way to view the commercial district, I think. There is another portal to it, but this this really just, you, you get to see all of the stores come into view and and really it's it's taken shape pretty well hello piggy it's taken shape pretty well and you can see various things popping up over there and here so we got D's bakery right off the bat it's supposed to look like a muffin you can come in and get cookies and pumpkin pie does she sell cake I don't know if she sells cake yes she does sell cake. So you could technically purchase cake and then go prank her with it. Of course, I guess she wins in that because she would then get the diamonds as well. So anyway, I don't have anything in my ATM. I did not come prepared. So the let's see. Let's take a look at some of the shops here. There is Soap's Spelunking Service. That would be mine. And we come down here. And when I set this up, I originally figured, you know what? It needs to look like a cave. And so there we go. It has a little fake abandoned mine shaft there. And then we come along to something that is stylized like a dungeon. And there we go. Now, I do have two outstanding requests for caving assistance. One from D and one from J. And we have not gotten to them. Hopefully, we will do that soon. But you never know. All right, next up is the potion supply shop. That's also mine. We'll come through here, take a look at what I need to replenish. Redstone, fully stocked there. Probably need to bring some more glowstone in. A couple of things of gunpowder missing. Nobody wants the spider eyes. Nobody wants the sugar. Nobody wants the, uh, what are those? Bottles. And hello, Brusha. Yes, that is her name. Let's head back to the next store, and that would be Skelly Thrift, where I put out the extra stuff that I get from my skeleton grinder. So, you know, if you need some junk armor, here's some, some leather stuff and some gold stuff. Not too much in the way of iron armor. I haven't really been using that thing lately. So the, the uh, what is it, the regional difficulty has not increased such to give me iron armor most of the time usually I'm getting gold armor come over here is the ugly block shop it's also mine and you can get blocks that are considered ugly and this is primarily from Zade's ugly block challenge I built one of these over at his base and we might yeah we'll take a look at that but I, I didn't want to lose it in case he completely destroyed it um, so I built one over here. If we come over here, we can take a look at Zade Mart. And this right here is things that Zade gets from his villager trading area. A variety of empty bookshelves here. So Zade has not been on lately due to just life. And uh, so things have not been well stocked here so maybe somebody can just go over there and do some of that trading for him I don't know we'll see no, let's see what else what else can we get into here in the commercial district yes Anarchy has a store for redstone uh oh hmm looks like there might have been a creeper blast or something if we come over here this is the redstone consultancy. You can see the door mechanics here, and then you can come in, put in your request, and then when Anarchy is here to consult with you, this is where you sit. 
across from the desk. And if you just need to wait because somebody else is consulting, just wait over here in the waiting area. Very nice. Nice decoration. Very good on the interior design as well as the exterior. I mean, look at this. Very well done, Anarchy. Very well done. All right. Next up in the commercial district, it's kind of an offshoot. We'll take a little and eat some of the steak there. Why? You know, see, the reason I jump around when I'm running is because when you do that, you actually run faster. Okay. And I like getting to the places faster, but it doesn't lead to good video. So I need to keep that in mind. We come over here is the games area. Let's see the entrance entrance arch here. And then there is a bounty castle. It's rather loud. Yeah, there we go. And you, you just get shot up into the air and it it can be rather rather dangerous for you. It sometimes leads to some really cool effects like that one. There we go. Thankfully I have Feather Falling 4 boots on. If you come over here, this is a King of the Ladder game. I haven't played it um, and I'm the one that built it, which is pretty sad. So we come over here, there's another one, another game going in, and that is a maze by D. And she's got the entrance blocked off, so we can't take a look at it quite yet. And uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait. And yeah, it's a, it's a nice, nice design on the entrance. Very well done. That's probably not lit up enough there. Uh, yeah, so, so we'll come through. We'll go back to the nether portal and take a look at uh, probably Anarchy's base next because her tunnel is right next door to this one. All right, so if the sound seems a little bit different, that is because, uh, well, I'm trying out a different profile on on the recording with this microphone. So. So do let me know what you think. Um, I, I also have to remember to stay much closer to the microphone than normal because that's the best way. But hopefully this thing is not picking up as much extra stuff around and behind me and hopefully the echo is not too bad. And I realize now that I am in the minecart that I will need to do some work post-processing and normalize the volumes a little bit. There we go, I get kicked off of the minecart. And we'll go through this portal. There is a bed right behind here. It's not quite sleepy time. We'll come down here. It is raining, is what it seems like. Yeah, so, so we're raining. Um, what I want to do real quick before we get into walking around Anarchy's base is I need to check the recording and uh, make sure that we're, we're all good. Again, I'm very afraid of having corrupted recordings because then that would mean I'd have to do this all over again. So we're going to split these up into smaller pieces. Nah, I will stay right here. And when we rejoin, it should be daytime yet again. All right. See you in just a moment. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, over here at Anarchy's base. Day has arisen again, and we're going to come over here and just take a look at some of what Anarchy has going on. You can see a little wheat field right there, and that's a nice effect. It's like it's a, it looks kind of like a pond should be there, but it is full of wheat. So, yeah, very nice. Looks good. And over here is a tree farm. We've got birch and oak. I think she's got everything listed here. The two by two spruce, and dark oak, very good. Acacia and jungle. Is that everything? We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's all the trees so far. And well, we've got some more growables coming, it looks like, in 1.9, which is pretty exciting if you have been watching the the news out of Minecon, um, and I've been doing that. So they, they did some previews of stuff, and snapshots are coming up soon. 
So we get to take a look at that now. Too Crafty is normally a snapshot server, but not the really early stuff. So we won't be going to that uh, immediately. So over here is a, a villager breeder. It's, it's infinite. It's by unary bit. Well, it's, it's kind of infinite. You have to feed them. Just throw in some carrots and potatoes and, or, or bread, and they'll, they'll keep producing. And she got that started from a little zombie purifier down below there somewhere. And I'm not going to go visit that because um, I don't want to potentially mess things up because I know she's had issues with creepers and stuff blowing up. I'm, I'm really concerned about creepers, especially as I'm touring other people's bases. I really don't want anything to mess up on my watch. So here's a little mushroom farm. And look at the detail here. You're just just bone mealing the ground we got the mushrooms in there and really it's a it's a it's a well done build i like the attention to detail there we come over here is a reed farm and this is it's not the automated one but uh, this is the most ground efficient if you're if you're not going to do an automated one and that this way you can just walk along because the water is covered by a lily pad and you just just harvest the whole thing um, rather easily so yeah that's very nice and what we're gonna do is come over this way the general theme here has been villagers and zombie purification Ooh. Hmm. I picked up a jungle sapling I actually needed one so I'm, I'm gonna keep that for myself so Anaki um, sorry I, I did actually need one oh and lots of chickens well get away from that there's a chicken farm and then here is the trading area I had mentioned earlier in the video you can come along oh, well, that's a nice paper trade 27 I think 26 is the lowest on the paper that you can get Make a mastodon let's see let's say hi well, this is one of the new members of the server let me just let him know here link in the description box below by the way for his channel so do check him out great uh great commentator and uh we we are excited to have him join the two crafty server so so here we go this is supposed to have been an automated farm i don't know if it's working and anakin you can correct me if i'm wrong i'm not sure i thought there were some issues with it but uh but then again i'm not sure all right so uh, right here is cow farm well done and what what you do is you breed the cows up here and the babies fall into a water stream below and then they get collected um, down here yeah and eventually their drops all end up up here and so yeah there we go next up if it seems like my voice is going in and out again I'm sorry I'm trying to get used to staying close to the mic but uh, do bear with me while I figure that out, okay? So over here is a two-cell iron farm, and I'm guessing that it's producing rather well. I can't remember if if she ended up putting villagers up top. Can we see? I can't see so well with the cheaty zoom. And when I first recorded this, I didn't have the cheaty zoom. So because uh, Optifine, uh, that version that I had, was not working with the shaders mod. So I've gotten it, gotten it set up. And so we're, um, are you fine? Okay. He's cool. Okay. Yeah. So, um, uh, it, it wasn't working at first, but, uh, now it is. Okay. I, we could be so far that entities don't render, so I'm not sure, but, uh, we're going to go through here and the next base to take a look at is dooms. So I'll see you over there. All right, Doom has helped out the fellow server members by putting in this little ice walkway. Very nice. All right, so we're going to go through here. And since Mac is on, it means that we will not be sleeping the night away. So we're going to have to be extra careful around here because uh, Doom has been working on getting things lit up correctly. And I know he spends a lot of time doing that. You can see that there's no torches or anything, but sometimes since we are moving around on pathways here that are close to the mountains, not all of those are set up. So um, I don't mind zombies. Uh, we can deal with those, but 
creepers. I don't want to blow up his base, so I got to be careful. So you come over here. We just came out of the portal, and this is where you originally set up, and it's it's got uh, his access to his mines down here, way way down. Uh, that's the thing in amplified. You start up pretty high up in the altitude, and so getting down to mining level takes some time. So uh, so yeah, this is a little cubby hole for the mining situation and if we come through here this is a little looks kind of like a Christmas tree area and the overarching theme here is pathways so he's got kind of this circular route that goes all around and we've got beds everywhere he's not fully done with this area you can see the torches all about and you see he's what he's been doing is just little by little coming around and adding details and it's it's really it's really shaping up nicely and I do encourage those of you that have not already go take a look at at his let's play and so you can see the progress of what he's been doing over here all right so uh, so yeah and now night has fallen and this is when I start to get worried because of the shaders messing with the look and feel of the various mobs around here. Ooh, very nice. And I don't believe mobs will spawn on leaves here. So, so yeah, you can see right here he's got some, some tower designs. And then if we come over here. Uh, let's see what else there is reportedly a windmill is this the windmill it's not the windmill I don't know where the windmill is but he's got a windmill somewhere around here and he's probably face palming so hard right now I soap you just don't get it you don't get it man come through here ooh yeah very nice you know when I originally did this this little tour I did not come see this, but Doom has been busy. Take a look at this. This is amazing. Just amazing. The storage area. Wow. Wow. Very good. Come down there. And you can get to, I believe, the mines down there. Come through here. He's got a beacon set up. Okay. And so I guess that's a future work work area. Yeah, so he's got plenty of storage space. I don't know if he's going to use all of it. But uh, but yeah, there you go. You can see what's been going on there. Okay, and this is a little unfinished area, so we won't pay too much attention there. And let's head back. Hopefully not get lost, which I might do. That's over here. And I don't know if I'm going to find that windmill, but we're going to head back up. Up top, hopefully find our way up and not not run into anything. Yeah, so we'll go this way. Yeah, there's a creeper over there. Again, that's my main concern. And if I seem kind of paranoid, I'm sorry. But again, this is not my base. I don't I don't walk around here very often, and so I don't know my way around. And and I also don't know where stuff is to fix anything that might be caused by me. So come over here. There's the windmill. You can see it right there. And how to get back up to the nether portal. We could follow this on around. And there's a tree farm area. What I'm going to do is see about climbing up top here. I don't have Ender pearls on me. That's one of the things I forgot in preparing for this episode. Forgot to bring ender pearls. Let's take a look over here. You can see, yeah, we just need to make our way back over that way. So we'll have to go through the mountain area of of destruction. Uh, we'll call this the shadow, or the valley of the shadow of death. That's what we shall call it. Yeah, 
and then head back over here so we can see some of the other stuff on this side of the of the valley you can see he's got so much man the, uh, the guy's been busy and and really he's a, he's a great builder and you really should check out his channel and see what he's up to we're going to come up here real quick head towards the nether hub area and oh man this is this is amazing well done well done doom well done there's a mob farm up there and we're not going to go into that to check it out, but you can see, you can just see the, the scope of this base here. Yeah, just amazing. You know, for, for the amount of, you know, he's been on the server not as long as I have, and his base is just so much more widespread and wide-ranging. And just, yeah, look at that. Okay, well, we need to head on to our next stop not stay here too long we have stayed here a lot longer than i had originally planned but hey when the surroundings look this good it's well worth it so i'm gonna head back to another hub and we will figure out where to go from here all right ladies and gentlemen we are back and i'm at a kind of a nondescript portal here and this should be a raija's base is a raija lost hopefully Am, am I right? Hopefully I'm right. I think, I think, yeah. I can't remember the name that he calls this thing. It, it was something, something fun. Yeah, this is Ares base. Okay, so here's a little tree farm. And, ooh. Precisely what I didn't want to happen. Okay, wow, my goodness, that about, oh man, I'm, <laughs> oh man, Whew. okay, so yeah, this place is not lit up properly, so, um, so yeah, he's got this thing set into the side of the mountain, and, um, and yeah, oh my goodness, that, uh, that was freaky, very freaky, I, um, yeah, yeah, that's precisely what I didn't want to see. Hopefully, that guy, I don't know where he is now. Anyway, whew, excuse me for a moment, but you can see kind of kind of what he's been doing is building off the side of the mountain. And this is, I don't, I don't think it's too far. It's not too far from Zades, but you can see we're in a roofed forest here. And yeah, so he's just been building off the side here, and it looks great. It's um, it reminds me of some of those monasteries that are set into the sides of the Himalayas, and uh, yeah, so I I think that's what he was going for, but that's what it reminds me of. So so uh, take that for what it's worth. Um, but uh, well done, area, and 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 yeah, I can imagine the yeah. Uh, back and forth on that. I'm not sure how many times he died while he was building this thing, but the interior detail is very well done. Look at that. All right. Well, um, it's, he, there's not much, um, not much else in here. So he's been just kind of working on this on streams and, and, and whatnot, but, uh, here's the control room. He calls it. And then over here, enchanting area and a little arena for, reportedly um, fights to the death. So um, I don't know if anyone's actually done that yet, but uh, there you are. So that's Ares base. And what we're gonna do now is probably head to Zade since we're rather close, all right? So I will join you over at his portal. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Zade's portal is coming into view. Now, Zade has been on the server for quite some time. He was here for the opening. And so he has done a decent amount of work and we're not going to be able to view everything that he's done. But you can see he's set up here next to a witch hut and he, he didn't turn that into a farm. Um, I think that was on his long term plans. And then I came in and and I made one over at my area. So so he didn't feel he needed to really. So we get some farms down there, uh, melon and pumpkin. Come down here, you can see 
Oh, just tons of noise, tons and tons of noise. We'll get away from them and kind of describe that a little bit. So there's the livestock and villagers. He's got a little villager breeding thing going. And over here is his main farm with the wheat, carrots, and potatoes. And he uses those to feed his villagers, which he then uses for trading. You see the cattle right there. And then we'll come over this way, and you can see the ugly block shop coming into view. And he even put in a little pathway to it. It's a lot better. I, I don't think I did that. I think Zay did that. So I guess he wanted to keep it, which is kind of nice. So I was afraid of him tearing it down, and that's why I built the ugly block shop at at uh, at the at uh, the commercial district. Yeah, there we go. Words, 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 words. All right, and you come over here. Just look at that. That's pretty cool. Shaders on. I like it. I I like it a lot. So come back over here. Let's head into Zade's base proper, and we'll take a look around some of the other stuff he's been doing here. And I've lost the sprint. There we go. Sprint is back. Come back by the noisy area. And we'll go through the farm, and you can see a little bit of his his structures poking through there. There's a little iron farm. We're going to go through the storage area to get to that. You come up here, and then drop back down to the storage area. And here we go. So this is where he keeps all his stuff. And then you can hear villagers hanging out. there. He keeps candidates for the trading area down below. And then he moves them in to right here. And he's using a, an infinite storage concept here. And you can hear one of the minecarts is going. And it'll probably stop if we unload the chunks and then come back in. But here you can see he's got a bunch of paper villagers. And I will just let you know that my AC is kicked on up here in the office. And so if you hear that, sorry. But it is kind of warm back here. So we've got donkeys. I need to come over here and breed a couple of those guys up. That's good to know that he's got those there. We'll come over here. And we can see he's got a little bedroom right here. And, and it's a safe room. It's with the iron door. And then we go down there to the mining area. And he's got a uh, slime farm. So, so he can get slime balls. But... Uh, yeah, we'll come through here to see the rest of what he's been working on. And you can see an iron farm. And he sometimes gets visitors. So it's a two-cell iron farm. I don't know if he's put the villagers up top yet. But over here he's got a sugarcane farm. And that is to provide paper for the paper villagers inside. There's a little observation platform for... A fireworks show that he did up there for New Year's. It's pretty good. You can hear all the sugarcane dropping from below there. And that pretty much wraps up. I mean, he's got some other builds around, but trying to get to those is a little bit problematic. And I'm not entirely sure how to get to them anyway. I'd have to go back and watch his, his videos. What we're going to do now is... Uh, come down here to the end portal because they did did set up near the strong or one of the strongholds and and he covered this in with half slabs half slabs lower half stone slabs and uh, that that's good because this is a slime chunk and we would occasionally get slime dropping into the end portal and one actually knocked me off the end uh, what is that the uh, starting platform at first. So what we're going to do here is go down and take a look at the Enderman farm. Okay. So D has been working on this and she put in a little ice pathway, which is very, very convenient. And I'm sorry if you hear the, uh, oh, I could get some hostile creatures. Sorry if you hear the, the uh, keyboard there. But what we're going to do here is just grab some ender pearls. I don't really need some. I don't know why I don't have any. I guess I 
through all of them into my storage system. We'll come and get some XP. And um, because of the nature of shaders and lighting, we're going to turn off the shader pack for just a moment so you can get an idea of the design that D has put in this place. And it looks really good. And you can hear the water because uh, this thing is covered in water to keep the Endermen from teleporting out and keep them focused on staying inside right here. So, so yeah, there we go. We'll pick up some levels before we head out and see what we've done there. All right, so, uh, so you see the design. We've got the enchanting and repair area here. And there we go. That's that's the Enderman farm. It's of the pre 1.8 design. Even though we built it in 1.8, we thought that the Endermite trick was broken. And um, yeah, we were mistaken. But uh, it's kind of hard to go back and change that now. So so yeah, we're we're going to be using that. And and really because of the way XP is, you don't really need. A highly highly efficient XP farm so we'll come back through here and we'll come back to the exit portal and hopefully not anger any of these guys and what we'll do is turn shaders back on CUDA shaders and we'll take a look at what doom has done he came in and and did the design here it looks really good way to go doom I like it. We've got some vegetation down here. Originally, D had put something together, but uh, she's having some trouble with it. So she called in Doom, and and the guy can build. Uh, I'll just tell you that. So what we're going to do is jump back through here, and uh, we'll figure out where to go from there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are back. And what we're going to do now is take a look at some of the stuff over in... Condrix area or towards Condrix area. So I came down Condrix tunnel here, but because of the the nether lighting issue with the shader pack, I did not bring you in for that travel time because it would have been really dark. So we just come down here and it turns out that uh, well, I mean you've you've watched the Guardian Farm stuff. Um, that opens right onto that uh, little mini hub that Condrix has set up. So what we're going to do is go take a look at the Guardian Farm real quick with shaders on. Okay, so we'll just come down here. It doesn't look much different here in the nether in this, in this tunnel. But uh, we'll see about the, uh, the overworld portion. Take a look at some of the effects that we can, can, uh, can see there. So what we're going to do is just come in and... Uh, one of the things i got to be careful of is we still get issues a little bit, depending on how the internet connection is behaving, we still get some issues with the Guardian lag. So uh, we get, um, what are these, uh, lighting glitches. You can see those there and up there. And once again, you know, I forgot my ender pearls, but uh, I also forgot a, a uh, redstone torch. So... So yeah, over here we've got the AFK fishing fishing hut. So you can go in there and fish while building up supplies. And then you can just grab some supplies. I don't really need any right now. Let's see how many there's no ink sacks. But yeah, we're, you know, if you saw my last episode, you'll know that we are working on that with the squid farm. What I'm going to do though is I want to take a look at least to try and get a feel for this thing with shaders on. But there we go. There we go. You can kind of see it up there. It's hard to see the detail because we can't fly. Um, but I do have the replay mod. I'm not running it right now because I wanted to make sure that everything was, uh, was behaving correctly for this recording session. So we're going to, I'm not going to drop down to the very bottom. But you can kind of see, see that right there. Yeah, you seen seen that. Uh, we we spent plenty of time here. So, um, and what we'll do is just come back in to the maintenance area. I don't have a bed here, so I would. Well, I can't I can't sleep away the night anyway. Let's see. 
Mac is still on, and he's still at zero death. So kudos to you, Mac. Um, keep that up. It took me took me a little bit, and then once I got that first one, it's just like, ah, eh, who cares? Um, so yeah, there we go. That's the Guardian Farm. And what we're gonna do is head back into here, and we're gonna go to Kondrick's base, and that's quite a ways away. I'm not going to make you suffer through that walk, and uh, I will meet you over at Kondrick's base. And here we are at Kondrick's portal, and we're going to go through here. And let's see what awaits us over here. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen, do you see this? Isn't that amazing? Yes. Yes, Kondrick dug this out. I I don't know if anyone else helped him. I think uh, I think he may have had some help, but but uh, I you know I never actually got over here to help out with this. But uh, yeah, wow, this is a massive project. He dug all that out. Now what he's working on is covering the sides in stone slabs. You see that. He's working on doing that. He's got one side over here completely done. See that? And he's going to continue that all the way around. And we are getting some serious frame rate issues. And what I might have to do, I yep, I'm for the purpose of ensuring that we have a good render. Uh, I am going to turn off the shader pack for now. And we are at night time, so we need to be careful. This this place, oh, all the villagers have gone in for the evening. And are there any, I see some, there are uh, zombies around. You see that right there? Let's see if we can help dispatch them. So what Kondrick has done is he, he uh, came in, found this area, and then dug it out and put in a village. And he's got detector villagers at every cardinal direction. And, oh, another one. Hello, buddy. Bye-bye, buddy. Um, so, detector villagers and houses. Ooh. And, uh, where are they coming from? Oh, my. No, can they come from there? No. Huh. I wonder if an enderman stole that. Wow, this this place, okay, okay, and I guess this is a pretty nice sword. What's on this thing? Looting three, sharpness five, yeah, sharpness five is good. Let's see what it does to this guy. Bye-bye. Um, so he's got this village here, that's the main premise, and it's got enough villagers in it that he generates, I think, up to seven seven iron golems and they'll occasionally just jump into the fountain here and he's got a little iron golem killer at the bottom so he's got this uh, fairly passive iron farm going as well built into this thing it's really cool and uh, most of the the work has been downstairs lately he's been focusing on that we'll come down here close that and then a little enchanting area Ooh, don't go that way Come this way, and we got jump boost. And then if we come down and around one of these things, he's got some method to his madness in terms of which pathway goes where. Um, we've got the storage room right here, and it's a huge sorting system. You chuck your items into there, goes into the sorter, and there's even overflow into a bulk collection system down here that he's not quite done with. The main thing is trees, so he's been looking at doing a tree farm. We've talked about working on that together, but uh, sometimes it's just trying to get our schedules lined up lately has been rough. So Kondrick has been, he's had a lot of IRL work stuff, and uh, lately I've been as well. So so yeah, things have been been rather disappointing in terms of getting, getting our schedules aligned, but uh, who knows, maybe he'll all right. Let's see. 
Oh, and he left before I, f I got that message off to him. So, so anyway, yeah, we've, we've been, um, missing each other in terms of the scheduling, but, uh, who knows, maybe soon we'll, we'll be able to get something going, but, uh, that, that is the gist lately of Conjure. He's been doing a lot of streaming lately rather than on YouTube videos. So I'll make sure that his, his, uh, beam channel is linked down in the description box below. But uh, what we're going to do now is head back and um, let's think about this. We've gotten most, I think we've gotten all the active members of the server except mine. So we're going to go take a look at some of the changes I've been doing around my base. So I will see you uh, over at my portal. All right, back in a bit. Well, um, that was quite a long walk. I am glad that's over. We'll come back to the mini hub here and I will show you a little shortcut. Oh, AC just turned on. Good, good, good. It's been getting kind of warm in here. I'll show you a little shortcut to my portal area. Let me just drop down here. That was the gold farm tunnel. Okay. So you can get to the gold farm. I'm not going to show that off here. You can go back, uh, find that on Condrix and my channel and then he and Anarchy did some updates to it recently to make it a little more user friendly so feel free to go check that out but uh, what we're going to do here is I am going to come into this portal and then we'll come back in here and go through but I do want to warn you that I have been doing some work off camera now since we were last together in the squid farm starting episode um, we, we started at my base but I've been doing some work okay and you can see you won't be able to see tons of it you can see some of it right there but um, I will note it once we get down there but there we go you can see the lighthouse from this little floating birch forest island and I have plans for this thing I saw this just floating up in the sky and most people would find, well, I don't know, maybe not most people, but I guess some people probably don't like those little artifacts of Minecraft's terrain generation, but I think they're pretty cool. And uh, I saw this thing, and I said, I've got to build something there. And so maybe we'll get to that pretty soon. We've gotten a lot of the automation stuff done. We're about to get the squid farm done. So uh, it's time to really focus on building. You can see how dark this thing gets with the shaders. Um, we'll go through here and again I've done some work okay so be prepared okay are you ready? We no longer come out in the the lighthouse. We'll wait for that to render in and we're getting oh, 100, 100 frames a second. That's not too bad. We'll see once everything renders in and the night cometh upon us Okay, so let me just explain what's going on here. Again, the portal no longer comes out in the top of the lighthouse there. Why? Well, I wanted something a little different. I don't want to constantly come in here. I want people, when they do visit my base, I want them to come out and just and see this, because this is kind of the centerpiece, this lighthouse here, and just come out and, and be, be confronted with it, you know? Boom, this is Soap's base, okay? Rather than coming into kind of a nondescript industrial type area up top with some animal torture areas, you know? It's not quite time to sleep yet. There's the sun. It's kind of hard to see in the shader pack. Um, and then you can't see over there either. What is our video? Oh, you know what? We need to drop that down anyway just to reduce our, our overall rendering okay there we go um yeah we won't be able to see the birch forest island so much but uh here the the general theme that i've been going with is continuing these pier like structures okay so we had already had one that i had put in from here over to the iron farm so i continue that out straight uh it was going to the slime farm and then I just took it all the way out to where the portal now is. And then we've got the slime farm down here. 
We're not going to take a closer look at that. We may go down into the skeleton grinder, but you can also see that I've taken out this little island right here, and that was where my original hidey hole base was. And then we've we've gotten everything moved out, and we're now living in the in the lighthouse tower there. So, so uh, yeah, what we're going to do now is sleep away. The evening is it time? Can we do that yet? No. You know what? Let's let us do drop in to here. You can you can hear the just the insanity we got because we've gotten everything lit up around all the cave lighting for the witch hut or witch farm perimeter is fairly well lit up. Um, when you're down here, you're in prime spawning area for the slimes so so that's why we've got tons of slimes and we've got enough slime that I'm throwing it all out yep uh, there is a filter mechanism you can see it kind of kind of ticking right there let's see if we can get a better view of that you, you see it ticking you can't see the the cactus but there is a hopper dropper shooting all the items that get filtered out into that cactus and so I'm pulling off slime balls and sugarcane because we've got OP an OP sugarcane farm there but let's continue after having slept away the, the night time we'll continue along the pier right here and we're gonna go towards the iron farm and then we'll come back into the lighthouse itself so this you should be familiar with, you've already seen this, but you can see an extra little addition to it. And uh, I was tired of, of uh, swimming over to this thing, and now there's a way for people to come in and go to the on a rail achievement railway. And, and that's now fixed, I've, I've fixed that over at the Guardian Farm, so it can continue all the way around, but there we go. You don't have to go swimming just to get to that thing. And I've taken out the perimeter marker in the water area, not on land. So if you go past the iron farm, you'll see the perimeter marker again. But I've taken it out from the water to kind of clean up the boundaries a little bit and, uh, and reduce some of the clutter. So we come over here. This is an iron farm. It's currently turned off. It's a redstone, uh, redstone activated one. It's a, a design by Daniel Cotis of the zip crowd and it layers 32 villages on top of each other and that produces somewhere on the order of 1500 to 1600 iron ingots per hour right now it's turned off because I don't need that much iron I really don't let me show you what it's already produced and really I'm not going to go into the mechanics um, most of this is just copied from the tutorial everything else is the design I put around it we're all on a, a slab here to reduce spawns because I didn't feel like trying to light the whole thing up correctly. Over here is a little little natural area to uh, kind of kind of bring some greenery into this otherwise industrial build. You can see I've got a double chest of iron block, double chest, and this one's almost full, and I've got plenty up in my storage area up top there. So we're not hurting for iron, so that's why I've turned it off. We also have some issues with it and chunk loading. And it, yeah, it just gets messed up and I have to, to constantly keep an eye on it. So I'd rather just turn it off and there we go. So I've got this, this tunnel. It's rather nondescript. I need to fix that, make it, make it look a little nicer. And then the iron farm itself has some work to be done on it as well. So uh, what we're going to do is drop down to the lower layer and we'll take a look. Okay, there we go. Well, we did have a tour for the new new people on the server the other day, and so they came over to my base, and uh, I wasn't sure whether they had left things as they found them or not. I did see a bunch of trap doors open kind of unintentionally. So, so there we go. You can see the slime farm here, and you can see the hopper dropper area right there, and the cactus for getting rid of all of the extra slime balls. But here is the skelly farm. Turn it on here and skeletons will start dropping in. 
you hear one coming in. We'll turn that off so we can just drop into the chamber here. And it does an all right job of getting them down to, I think it's two hits. It's, it's on that fine line between the two. Uh, since we're using suffocation here, um, yeah, it's it's a two hit. Yep. Yeah, there we go. And um, got the enchanting area here, and I keep some lapis and books there. And I've got tons and tons of other books here. Yeah, we need to do something about that. I don't like having all these chests here, so I think we're going to be working on a library soon, somewhere in here, kind of close to the the grinder. Um, and we'll probably put our armory there as well. So I don't, I don't know. We'll see. We've got, got things to do, plenty of things to do. And what we're going to do now is go up, just take a look around my base, and and uh, we should be coming to an end here. This is a tree farm, not as stylized as Anakis or Dooms or Ds even. But uh, it suffices, and lately I've been using it to get a bunch of dark oak and spruce for those um, those piers down there that uh, we just saw. This is a little automation area, and it's the perfect height for for the witch farm AFK spot. Okay, so you can come up here and either do some AFK farming if this thing has plenty of bone meal, or some AFK fishing. Either way. Uh, this is where you would AFK for stuff. Okay, so we'll come up here. Next layer is the storage area. We've got bulk storage on the perimeter, except for extra junk. And you can see some of the stuff that we get from the Skelly Grinder right there. And then the other stuff goes, the non-bulk goes into the middle here. We've got a mix. We've got some droppers there and chests there and the reason we have droppers is because they are a solid block and we've got the item elevator for the witch farm drops going through here and the slime farm drops as well but uh but yeah you see we've got extra stuff just hanging out and i got a bunch of clay here when i was working on the the foundation for the lighthouse and we've got weapons and armor just stuff. This is from fishing. The saddles are from fishing. Name tags are from fishing. And this is from uh, just going around nether fortresses and whatnot. But uh, there we go. Um, that is the storage area. The next layer is what I was saying. You, you might remember the nether portal used to be somewhere right here. I've taken that down. I've got my to-do list here. And we've actually done uh, we've done flower farms. Not quite all of them, but uh, that'll that's sufficient. And what else have we done? Uh, we need to move the chicken farm. I think the chicken farm's fine. Tool area, guardian farm. Did I take that down? I did, I think. Or I might be missing it. But uh, but yeah, there we go. Um, that is that's it, ladies and gentlemen. You know, if I, you know, you've seen that. I don't want to go up there. That's the general mob farm, but. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Let's turn off shaders so I don't get get uh, dropped frames. And I, I was noticing some slideshow type behavior. We're going to drop down to the lower platform. And we'll go out this way just to showcase more of the of that uh, new new uh, new additions with this pier. And maybe you can see, that's the Birch Forest Island right there. See, it just beckons. Build something, build something. And that's what we're going to do eventually, hopefully. We'll come around here, I've connected those, and maybe eventually we'll try a road to spawn. Uh, who knows? We'll see. We've got plenty of ideas. We're not running out of anything to do around here. But I'm going to head back to here. And, uh, and yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. I certainly did. It's a lot of fun taking a look at what other people have done on the server. Now, you may notice that I might have left some people out. Um, I left Khan out, confound it, the actual owner of the server. And that sounds bad. Um, he's recently been pranked. He knows he's been pranked, but it's got a bunch of bunnies all around. And the entity count is crazy. 
just crazy and lag city so i did not want to go over there so uh so do pardon me for that and there's some others um that are, are not active at the moment so i didn't didn't uh see to to put those if they are active what we will if they come back and and uh start building again then i'll go visit those but uh for now that is it hopefully you enjoyed this little tour and and uh, hopefully i don't have any mishaps with the recording again if so i'm not re-recording it i'm just going to try and figure out a way to clear out the dropped packets or whatever but uh but yeah hopefully you enjoyed if you did a like is always appreciated Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you uh, in the next one, which will be back over at the Squid Farm, hopefully. All right. Bye-bye for now.